In this video, we'll examine what is net metering and how does it work. In California and many other states, the value of solar is directly tied to net energy metering, also known as NEM. When solar panels generate more energy than you use, the extra power you created flows into the grid. With net metering, you'll receive credit for any extra energy produced. Without net metering, the utility company would get the extra power you created for free. You can use your credits when you need electricity, for example, at night when the sun isn't shining. This offsets your electric bill. California utilities require solar customers to be on a time of use rate plan. With time of use plans, the amount you get paid for your solar credits depends on what time of day you send the power back to the grid. Each utility has different rates and metering programs. Check with your local electric company to find out how their solar program works. Net metering was created for two reasons. One, to encourage the greater adoption of solar throughout the country. And two, because utilities and the electric grid as a whole can benefit from the additional energy to the grid generated by solar. Most electric companies charge a minimal monthly service fee which will continue when you go solar. Before going solar, you pay for your electricity on a monthly basis. When you go solar, you don't get billed monthly for electricity. Instead, your usage and credits accumulate. After 12 months, you'll receive a true-up bill with either a credit or an amount due for your energy usage. It's like a solar bank account where the electric bill is settled on a 12-month cycle instead of monthly. As long as your solar system was designed correctly for your usage, and if your energy consumption didn't go up, you would have a credit or a small bill at TrueUp. Your accumulated credits and energy charges appear on your monthly statement so that you can track your usage and excess production. Most solar systems provide monitoring allowing you to track your production. Note that the solar power shown on your statement will never equal the solar production shown on your monitoring. This confuses many homeowners but here's why they don't match up. Electric meters don't measure the power that feeds the house. They only register the extra power that goes to the grid. So your utility bill does not show how much power your solar produced. Only the power you don't use is what the utility bill tracks. On a final note, net metering allows homeowners to offset all or part of their electric bill by earning credits when they produce extra solar power. The credits can be used for power from the grid when the solar is not available for use. After you go solar, your electric company becomes your backup power source. Once you know how net metering works, you can see the benefit of installing solar panels on your home. If you're interested in learning more about solar power and other ways to save money on your energy bill, check out CaliforniaSolarGuide.com in the description below. And please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell.